in today's tutorial i'm going to show you a parts of a flower and a plant so this is how the slide works when i click the first part which is a stem and the receptacle will show and then when i click the next part which is the sepal will come and on my next click it will come the ovary style and stigma along with the ovule and then comes the anther and the filament and then the last one comes the petals so i have created two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent then i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to draw the trapezoid just make the trapezoid shape outline make it no outline again this also i'm going to make it transparent and then rotate i'm going to make it a uh, flip vertical you can see here something like this then right mouse click edit points i can just make it you can see here something like this and this also i'm just going to drag this one inside all right and here the bottom one also if you want you can just change a little bit so it looks something like this so it doesn't matter we are going to group later on so then let me just select both these shapes and bring it down all right make sure that it is in center let me just go to view guides and put it in the center and remove the guides i'm going to draw the leaves for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click edit points you can see the top point just drag this inside so you end up getting a shape something like this and even if you want we can just make it something like this also you can see here and this one also you can just bring it down all right and then i'm just going to select this rotate it and bring it here you can reduce the size of the leaf press ctrl d i'm going to just add the other side also i'm going to just flip horizontal and place the other side and to combine this one i'm just going to use uh, maybe this shape only press ctrl d to duplicate all right and then reduce the size you can see here turn this and put it here and press ctrl d add the other side rotate the other side here and then just something like this okay so later on we can change the colors and all different things and again i'm going to select this duplicate i'm going to add it at the top part again i'm just going to rotate it you can see here i'm going to rotate it uh, flip vertical increase the size okay and then i'm just going to put it here or i can just add one more circle and then i can just add this let me just add the circle here smaller one reduce the size i'm going to put it here all right or maybe this much size and then i'm going to attach this make sure that it is in center and again this one right mouse click edit points you can make it more narrow all right something like this you can do it all right so now this is the the uh, the small part is ready and now it's time to add some other shapes before adding the other shapes let me just group this one so i'm just going to select this and this and go to format merge shape and make it union so it becomes one shape and make it fully uh, no transparent here and then this leaf and this one also i'm going to make it union and this also becomes one shape and this and this also union it and make it no transparent and the top part also i'm going to select these two again union it 
and this also make it uh, no shape so we end up getting a shape something like this then for the time being i'm just going to give some green color for this you can see here something like this and for this also i'm going to use some green color and later on we can change the color all right and select both of this and send this two back and this also i can just select a green color for the time being and later on we can change the color as per the requirement all right so it looks something like this now let me add some other shapes so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape maybe something like this and then just move it a little bit here you can see here and press ctrl d add one more and if you want you can just change the shape or the size and then ctrl d bring the other side you can see here again if you want you can edit the points also to just change the shape a little bit you can see here and then this i'm just going to bend this here and press ctrl d and add one more here something like this all right now i'm going to attach this one with other shape so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here or you can draw the uh, triangle also let me just select with this one go to edit points you can see here or let me just bring this here first of all bend it all right reduce the size okay and then let me just reduce it further edit points and then i can just bend it according to my requirement you can see here something like this you can make and then press ctrl d add to this also move this aside a little bit then select this ctrl d and go to rotate i'm just going to flip horizontal and i'm just going to add one here and then press ctrl d rotate it a little bit bend it a little bit and it here all right then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select both these shapes and union it okay i'm just selecting this one and union it so that it becomes one color sorry one shape let me just select this and union it and if you want you can give some a gradient fill for this let me just select the gradient fill here i'm going to use choose uh, two colors actually so i'm going to give one green and other one uh, kind of uh, yellow here you can see here shape outline make sure it is no outline so go to home format painter i'm just going to copy to the rest of the this one and then i'm just selecting this and send this to back go to format send this to back so it looks something like this so once this is done it's time to add the petals and one more shape here so let me just go to shapes and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this one which is the curve shape let me just zoom in and i'm going to add cut one shape something like this all right you can see here i'm just going to do a cutting all right then select this and this more shape and i'm going to just subtract this something like this it will come here okay now one more thing which we need to add at the top go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the curve let me just zoom in and here i'm going to start maybe from here you can do you can see here something like some design you need to make it all right and then i'm just touching this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color here so it looks something like this all right so it's time to add the petals go to insert shapes select the old shape draw the old shape maybe this much size again right mouse click edit points and from the top i'm just going to increase the size something like this and the bottom i'm going to reduce it and here also you can just reduce it a little bit all right so let me just the moment i do this one it is getting impacted so not a problem so we can just 
align it again and then this one i can give any good uh, color a uh, red shape outline make it no outline rotate it and then i'm just going to put it here and then send this to back you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and go to rotate and add the other side of the plant you can see or the flower and then send this to back and then i'm just going to add one more at the bottom i can select this okay and then i can just change this one edit points and i'm going to just change it here you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to put it again in the center so here you can see here something like this and then send this to back so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to add some more effects also you can go to insert shapes select the this one the curve you can see here and i'm just going to just add something like this a smaller one all right and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and reduce the transparency here so you can see here it looks something like this press ctrl d the other side i can just flip it and then just put it here so ctrl d again if you want we can just reduce the size and put it the other side also and then just send this to back so something like this so likewise you can just add as many as you want so you can see here our design is ready so if i want i can just select all press ctrl g to group it and then i can just hold the shift key and increase the size according to the requirement and then i'm going to ungroup this all right and then go to insert shapes i'm going to use this arrow and then whichever way you want example you can see here i want this particular plant you can just add the name of the part part name i'm just going to put here part name all right so depending on your requirement you can just add the part names one by one so this one again so let me just add some more for example this is you call it something for this control d you call something to for this also so likewise you can just keep on adding you can see here then i'm just going to add something for this all right control d you call something for this also different different part names are there so like this you can add all the part names one by one okay so just control d and then just add the part names you can see here something like this you can do it and then you can add a little bit animation effect for example i'm just going to select this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and for this one i can just say simply appear here okay so this will appear and then using the arrow which is the wipe effect wipe effect from left i will say that should happen after previous and then the name should appear here okay that should happen after previous for example if i play when i click it comes something like this so likewise you can just do the same thing the appear and then put the name of the plant or the the part of the name of the plant so you can add one by one and you can just present it for your school or for your college uh, presentations